After millions of dollars and nearly a decade in the making, a Southern Utah company says it's about to revolutionize hospital laboratory testing. And their first target, detecting drug-resistant superbugs. Lad Egan's live in St. George with more for us tonight. Why the superbugs, Lad? Uh, well, Shauna, it's because superbugs are becoming a major problem for hospitals. They're calling them nightmare bacteria. And that's why this company in St. George, it's in this building behind me here, just off the boulevard, says uh, quicker, cheaper, more detailed testing will save lives. Antibiotic resistant strains of staph are a huge issue, a big problem in hospitals. Microbiologist David Tao says time is of the essence when it comes to superbugs. So if we can provide them answers, immediately uh, this will affect treatment. House is president of St. George based DXNA which has been working for eight years to develop this. Good. The gene stat, a small easy to use molecular based testing system about the size of a toaster. So the idea was to have a simple diagnostic device that could be taken right on site. Inside this clean room production laboratory technicians work to assemble these specialized testing cartridges. Equipped with a radio frequency tag, the cartridges allow the gene stat analyzer to perform single tests for a fraction of the cost and time of traditional testing. So you could do bedside or on site field testing. It can be a very time sensitive issue. DXNA Chief Operating Officer Ernie Sumption says small hospitals can wait days for the same results that GeneStat gives in about an hour. It makes a huge difference. Physicians cannot afford in the interest of their patients to wait even 12 hours on one of these infections. The company says testing for hospital infections is just the beginning. With the right cartridge, the box can be used to test for anything with little training. With this system, in a matter of 15 to 20 minutes, I can teach somebody how to do the test and they can get the same quality of test result. DXNA says this new testing box could really be put to use in more rural communities, uh, community hospitals, and also nursing homes or clinics, and especially in developing or third world countries because it's rugged and can really be taken anywhere. So Mark and Shauna, they have a lot of excitement about uh, this application starting out with testing for superbugs, but they do say it's going to take about a year to get everything approved and then start marketing it to hospitals. Live from St. George, back to you. All right, lad, thank you very much.